Welcome to this series of tutorials, basics of room acoustic simulations in Python. And on this episode, we're going to start talking about directivities. So first, we need to have in mind that the PyRoom Acoustics library that we've been using, it has a lot of limitations when using directivities, but still we can get a lot of things done. So here in the PyRoom Acoustics documentation, we already see a warning and they say that setting directivity patterns for sources and microphones is only supported for the image source method. It also says the source directivities are only supported for shoebox shaped rooms and also that the cardioid directivity patterns, they are frequency independent. And we see here in the documentation as part of the PyRoom Acoustics Directivities module, we have this cardioid family and we see that the cardioid are frequency independent. So we have a lot of limitations, but still we can use a lot of the resources that are available to us. So during this series of uh, tutorials, we are going to prepare our CoLab environment. So we are going to install PyRoom Acoustics. We also are going to install this IPy MPL that we discussed in our previous tutorial when we um, talked about using STL files. And this IPy MPL is used to bring some interactivity to matplotlib plots. So in case you didn't see the previous tutorial, I included here and it's already pointing to the specific and it's already pointing to the specific time when I talk about the IPy MPL. Then here starts the directivities demo, which is from the Pyrum Acoustics Git repository. We will talk about the available directivity patterns, how to add directivities to microphones and sources, how to add di directivity to microphone arrays. So here we'll plot some directivity patterns in 2D and in 3D. We talk about microphone directivities. We'll talk about uh, rotating microphones, about adding directivities to a source, about microphone array directivities. And we have a lot of plots and simulations using directivities in microphones and sources. We plot some impulse responses. We can rotate microphones. We can listen to examples. And these are going to be the topics for our next tutorials. So the first thing what we're going to do is to install PyRoom Acoustics. And we can install PyRoom Acoustics simply by calling the pip install PyRoom Acoustics. Then we are configuring Colab to use this IPy MPL and we are activating this IPy MPL backend with this line of code here. For this notebook, we need a WAV file that is going to be used in our simulation so we can hear things. And here we are simply downloading from the GitHub this specific file. And here starts our directivities demonstration notebook. So we've seen that PyRoom Acoustics is supporting microphone directivities with the image source model for shoebox and arbitrary shape rooms, but source directivities is with image source model for shoebox rooms only. And what are the directivity patterns that we have available? So we have figure of eight, hypercardioid, cardioid, and subcardioid. Now, what we are doing is to import all the packages that we are going to use in this demo. So we have, we are going to use NumPy, Matplotlib, PyPlot, PyRoom Acoustics. We are going to use from the PyRoom Acoustics directivities module, we are going to use the directivity pattern, the, direct, the directional vector, and the cardioid family. Then these are classes from the PyRoom Acoustics directivities module. And here, in the official Pyroom Acoustics documentation at the read the docs, we see the class cardioid family, we see the direction vector, and we see the directivity pattern. And here we see that we have common cardioid patterns and their co corresponding coefficient following this expression here, r equals to alpha times one plus cosine 
of theta, where alpha is the coefficient that determines the cardioid pattern, and r yields the gain at the angle theta. As we've seen before, we have cardioid, figure of eight, hypercardioid, and subcardioid. And if you're not familiar with these terms, later on we are going to plot here all these patterns. And here we can see we have this omnidirectional pattern. We have a figure of eight in blue. We have the hypercardioid in orange. We have the cardioid in green. And we have the subcardioid in red. So these are the patterns available to us in Pyroom Acoustics. We are going also to use IPython for basic display. SciPy.io to read the WAV file that we download here, which is this file here. And we will be reading here. So we get the signal and the sampling frequency. And then we are normalizing so that the simulation is within the values of minus one and one. And we are also going to use this sphere to cart to convert a spherical point to Cartesian coordinates. So this is just an introduction, an overall view from what we're going to discuss in the next two tutorials. And next time we're going to plot all these directivity patterns that we have available to us. And we will talk about this code in this cell here that generates this plot.